Hello and welcome to another episode of our YouTube series. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of finance to explore the history and evolution of money and currencies from ancient times to current days. Strap in, it's going to be an exciting journey. Let's get started. Let's take a trip back in time to the dawn of human civilization. Imagine a world where there was no such thing as money. Money, as we know it, has a fascinating history that spans thousands of years. The concept of exchange was born out of necessity when ancient civilizations began to trade commodities like grain, cattle, and later, precious metals. In these ancient times, the first economic system was a barter system, exchanging goods for other goods. The barter system, in its simplest form, was a direct trade of goods or services between two parties. This could involve trading tangible goods like grain, pottery, or tools, or services such as assistance with farming or construction. But, the problem with this system was, if individual who wants to sell his goods must locate another person who offers to give up the good wanted by him and who is willing to accept in exchange the good offered by him. The oldest known form of money dates back to Mesopotamia, around 3000 BC, where they used clay tablets as a form of credit system, essentially a precursor to the modern banking system. But as societies became more complex, this system grew unwieldy. This led to invention of commodity money concept. Commonly used goods such as gold, salt, cowrie shells, or even livestock were used as money because they had intrinsic value. This was an important step, but still, there were problems of standardization and durability. The ancient Chinese took a big leap forward around 1000 BC by creating the world's first metal money, coins cast from a mix of bronze and tin. It didn't stop there. Around 600 BC, the Kingdom of Lydia, in what is now modern Turkey, produced what is thought to be the first official currency. These coins were made from a gold and silver mixture called electrum and were stamped with pictures as a guarantee of their weight and purity. As empires grew, so did the need for a more controlled and standardized form of money. The Romans were renowned for their silver denarius, which circulated for almost four centuries. Fast forward to the Middle Ages, coins continued to be the primary form of currency. But as trade networks grew, carrying large quantities of coins became impractical. That led to the development of paper money and banknotes in China around the 7th century, a revolution in money that wouldn't reach Europe until the 17th century. Paper money appeared first in China during the Tang Dynasty, around the 7th century, and became more popular during the Song Dynasty. The idea spread slowly to other parts of the world, with the first European banknotes being issued in Sweden in the 1660s. Fast forward again to the 20th century, where the world saw a departure from the gold standard, mainly due to World War I and the Great Depression. This led to the establishment of fiat currencies, money declared by the government to be legal tender. Fiat currencies are legal and valuable because a government maintains its value. The 20th century brought more changes, with the global adoption of the gold standard, the rise and fall of the Bretton Woods system, and the evolution of fiat currencies which is the money we use today, backed by the trust and credit of the economies that issue them. The late 20th century marked the shift towards electronic money. Credit cards became increasingly popular. The advent of the internet brought on the next major change. Online banking, PayPal, and other digital payment systems began to dominate, making money increasingly virtual. The 21st century gave birth to cryptocurrencies the most famous being Bitcoin, introduced in 2009. Cryptocurrencies are decentralized digital currencies, without a central bank or single administrator, that can be sent from user to user on the peer-to-peer -peer network. As we look to the future, we can only imagine what the next evolution of money will look like. Will we fully move into digital currencies, or will physical cash remain a necessity? Only time will tell. Until then, Remember that the journey of money through the ages is a reflection of human innovation and the continual pursuit of efficiency and reliability. 
Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history and evolution of money. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe for more fascinating journeys into history. Until next time, goodbye.